Okay. And we are live. Okay. So, First question. hold on, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, so, sorry. this... Getting too excited. <laughs> getting too excited. <laughs> cheers. Hey, look, cheers. So, this is the first ever coffee time. Okay. So, first off, what is today's date? Do you even know that? No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. What month are we in? March. What's that? March. Okay, we're in March. Yeah. What day of the week is it? Um, Wednesday? You're very good. Yes, it is Wednesday, March 15th. Okay. What year? 2017. Okay, so we're time stamping this is Wednesday, March 15th, 2017. Okay. Uh, it's about 2.20 in the afternoon. Because Eli's on Two track nine. break. 219. Close enough. Yes. Eli's on track break. Caden is with mom getting. New glasses. Well, his eyes check. Maybe new glasses. <clears throat> and where are the girls? Dance class. And they're in dance. So it's just a. Two people thing. It's a two people thing. <laughs> it's a daddy Eli day for another 40 minutes before we got to get the girls and I thought it would be fun if we did a little interview. Okay. So, first question for you. For me? No, oh, for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you had your meet on Saturday yeah. at GSI. Uh -huh. You did not almost die. Yeah. And if I could figure out how to edit in the clip of you falling on P-bars, oh. I would, but I haven't learned okay. that yet. Right. So, what... What were your thoughts mm -hmm. right after you fell? Okay, so I was laughing and crying at the same time. Mm -hmm. My back, it kind of knocked the air out of me. Mm -hmm. I was laughing though, because it was funny that I did a front flip off the bars. Mm -hmm. I don't think the judge should have gave me a two point deduction. <laughs> I think it should have been a one point deduction because um, it sh well, I guess technically it should have been a two point deduction for added skill and for added skill and the fall. But. See, I don't know if he was giving you a deduction for added skill or if he was giving you a deduction because you didn't even get to your hands to it. Because as you came up with your legs up, your legs were bent, oh, yeah. and then you just kept going okay. over the top. So you didn't even get the hands to So I don't know if he was giving you the deduction. It would have been for, a 10 4 PRs. It would have been first place PRs, but then it fell. Possibly. It That's would have been because Caden right. was first place with the 10-3. Uh -huh. And my P-bars was an 8-4. Mm -hmm. So you add those two points that he took off and it would have been a 10-4. Is that what Court Luke said was that you lost two points? Is That's that what I know. Think? That's what That's you're thinking? That's what I know for adding school in the fall. Uh -huh. okay, so, after that, did you think that your meet was done or what did you think? What was your response on knowing that you still had other events to do after that fall? I said, so, I fall. Um, I said, the meet went good besides when I fall, but now I just got to finish off strong. Because I think I only had two events after that. Right? Just put it behind you and yeah. toughen up and move on? Uh, but it's also funny at the same time because mm -hmm. it was such a good fall. Well, at least you can laugh about it. Yeah, it was funny. And at least you didn't get hurt. Yeah, I almost kicked my kid on the bars. So that would really hurt. So what did, you, what did you want to ask me? Oh, all the questions? Well, let's start with one. Okay, first so question. So I told Eli to come up with some questions to ask me. To uh, see so, you're had. a firefighter. So whenever you're about to go in a burning building, are you ever scared? Uh, I don't, I'm not usually scared right as I'm going in uh -huh. to the building. You understand that we train lots and lots for that situation um, when we get the update for the fire you know I start thinking about uh, what is on fire or potential complications that goes along with that or hazards like we had a fire at uh, DMB a while back and I was actually a little bit nervous about that just knowing building construction and the potential hazards of what was in there that was an active actual fire and not just like a fire alarm. I definitely was a little nervous rolling up, but usually, you know, when we get there, we have an assignment to do. We usually 
Uh, if it's like a house, we try to walk around the house before we go inside so we get an idea of you know what the layout of the house is going to be because you can tell from the different sized windows what might be a bedroom versus a bathroom versus a kitchen mm -hmm. or a living room so you kind of get a layout of the house you get a better idea of where the fire may be so by the time that you're going to go inside I feel comfortable I'm focused and determined that to get anyone in there out alive if there's somebody Yes, I mean, we're always going to get a search, you know, but I feel comfortable and, and focused and determined that I will be successful in, you know, be in the fire before something bad happens to me. You know, if we know that somebody's in there, then, you know, we don't, we won't have the chance of, of doing all our safety stuff. But like we say at work, you know, we're going to risk a little to save a little. You know, it's, it's, if it's just somebody's house, we're not going to risk our lives if it looks like it's not going to be successful but if but we risk a lot to save a lot so if, if somebody can tell us that there's somebody you know in that upstairs bedroom we're going to go straight to that bedroom we're not going to start trying to put the fire in so does that make sense uh -huh. okay. next question next question how regularly do you uh give the engine a clean give the engine like, what clean the engine and like check up on it to make sure everything's okay. So we wash the engine whenever it needs a bath. So winter time we tend to wash it more because uh, bad road conditions. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of going over it with, you know, make sure everything's there. Uh, we There's a monthly check that we do that we actually open every single yeah. bag and make sure every little item is there and restock anything that's missing. Uh, we also do daily checks, so we'll be getting a, the first hour pretty much of, of every day at work is me going through the engine. Since I'm the medic, all the medical gear is my responsibility, so I make sure that you know my heart monitor is working. I have all the pads I need. I look through all my drugs, make sure all my drugs are there make sure I have everything I need for medicine-wise. It takes me a good 45 minutes to go through everything that I need to go through just on that aspect. And while I'm doing that, Mark, as the driver, he does open every compartment and check to make sure all of our you know, major equipment is there. Um, another question to go along with that. When do you refill the water? Oh, no mind, because it pumps the water from the head. Well, each, tank, each engine has a 1,000 gallons of water, so we can start with tank water and then transition to a hydrant. Where do you refill the tank water? Like, where do you go to get all From the hydrant, just plug it into the side of the engine. Mm -hmm. And then if we use just a little bit of water and we don't need a hydrant to fill up a bunch, we can just bring it back to the station and stick a garden hose mm -hmm. at the very top and fill it up that way. Okay. But I was going to say also in the morning, not only my medical gear, but I also check out all my personal stuff. So I turn my air pack on, make sure I have enough air, make sure my mask and everything is all in good working order, so when I need it, I'm ready to go. Okay, so next question. What is the biggest fire you follow? Biggest fire I've gone. And how many engines showed up? <coughs> engine trucks. Um, I've gone on several big ones. Most recent was 4th of July. Um, oh, that house was destroyed. Yes. The house was destroyed. I'm trying to think of what the name of that street was. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, that was a pretty big one. That was awesome because we were the first ones on scene. Uh, but that was a very big house that, yeah, we ended up not being able to save. Um, about a year and a half ago, I went on a fire that was at an apartment complex that was three stories tall. And the fire started on the, on the ground floor patio and... and chased all the way up the outside of the apartment building and so it took out um, the two apartments above the ground floor one so that one we had I think two truck companies and like six engines on that one um, and then I was also on oh, what's, what we call the Qualtree Fire Qualtree is a company that does um, like landscaping and stuff like that where they just mulch up logs and 
and everything. We had a fire out there one day in the summertime. So, yeah, we had, like, our entire department plus a second truck and a couple other engines just because of how hot it was. Just had to drown it out. Yes. Okay, so very last question. If you could choose to be which one, would you have rather, would you have rather been a flight nurse, a firefighter, or paramedic? Well, I am a firefighter paramedic. Well, yeah. Okay, what would you rather be, the, a firefighter paramedic or a flight nurse? I'd rather be the, the firefighter paramedic. My The flight nurse was just something that I was looking at doing because I didn't think I would get on with the fire department because of my hearing. Yeah. And I'd already gotten rejected by LA City Fire at a time when they were basically hiring any paramedic that they could. They wouldn't hire me because of my hearing. Um, so wanting to start a family with mommy and living in Southern California as a private ambulance paramedic was not making a lot of money at all. And nurses make a lot more money. So my next fallback was to be a flight nurse. And you did get experience being a flight nurse. I got experience being a flight medic this summer at the Pioneer Fire yeah. a couple times. Okay, so that, those are all my questions. Those are all your questions? I made up in five minutes. <laughs> Even though I asked you this morning to come up with some questions. Yeah. But thank you for at least listening and being questions that wasn't like, what's your favorite color? Yeah. I was going to say, what was your favorite food? But <laughs> I got those <laughs> What do you think I'd say if, if you asked what my favorite food is? Burritos. Burrito? <laughs> Meatloaf. I don't know. I'd say steak. Big fat ribeye. What's your favorite food? Ribs. Ribs, that's true. Uh, because it gets all over your face. Yep. Yeah. What is your favorite subject in school? Recess. If that counts. No, recess does not count. Um. Well, math's super easy. I don't pay a lot of attention to math. Uh. PE. Come on, PE. You can't. PE's not. Doesn't count either. Uh. PE music is boring. A lot of subjects are boring. I like reading focus groups. Mm. Only because it's the least longest thing, it's only 30 minutes long. <laughs> and then right after that, I need to go to recess. And right after that, you go to recess? Uh-huh. So, what book are you reading right now? Sorry about that. Oh. What book series? The Jedi Academy. The Jedi Academy? Yep. How's that going for you? Good. I already finished the first two books out of three. And I'm probably... A quarter of the way through the third one. Did you give them two thumbs up? Yeah, they did. Five stars? Yeah. Four and a half? Four and a half. Probably. Four and a half? Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite gymnastics routine? You're talking about an event to yes. practice or an event to Either one. What's your favorite? What's your favorite competition of the event? My best competition event is P bars. Is that your favorite? I don't like. I like training P bars, but I kind of like it. But P bars is my best event. But my favorite event to train is probably high bar. I love training high bar. What's your favorite to compete? P bars. P bars. But you love as to, long as I don't do any fun <laughs> But you love to train high bar? Yeah. How's your wing feeling? How's your wing feeling? It never hurts anymore. Feeling good? Yeah, it never hurts anymore. Good strong muscles? <laughs> yeah, it never really hurts anymore. And it, like, I used to be... I used to... What's the word? I used to hesitate because I always knew, because I knew my arm was still healing before it was fully healed. I would always hesitate, but I don't hesitate anymore. Because it was kind of that feeling of my arm isn't fully healed and I could break it again. Mm -hmm. But I don't have that feeling anymore. So you're not holding anything back no. now? Not at all. Not at all? <laughs> 
doing gymnastics, you will hesitate. I feel like the event that you would hesitate most on is floor or high bar, especially level six high bar learning giants. That can be scary, mm -hmm. learning giants, but also learning floor. I mean, but if you get good enough, you're always trying to throw triple fulls, and that's going to be scary. I remember Gabe last year trying to learn giants. Yeah. That was a big struggle for him. Uh -huh. But we train giants on straps. Yeah. So... Once you get the feeling of giants on straps, well, I don't know, I've never experienced some bars, but what I've heard is once you have the feeling of doing them on straps, it's not much different than a bar. Uh huh. So, I can't wait to train giants. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you got a foam pit now to yeah. train over, so if you slip and fall, it won't be as bad. Uh huh. Poor Gabe didn't have that. No, he didn't. <laughs> he had an eight inch mat. Mm -hmm. So state is a week and a half away. What are your predictions? Do you have any predictions on, on state? I'm gonna try not to front flip this mount and hit PRs. I mean, six out of six, you just have to hit all six of your events mm -hmm. and stick them all in. At regionals, there's 27 kids and they're taking 19 to regionals. So, and you should see the papers we did. We had it all written out. And I'm like spot what, 10 or 11? Roughly. So I roughly have a guaranteed spot at regionals. I'm not saying I have a, gear, a guaranteed spot, but I am I feel confident that I'm going to regionals. So it's everyone else, all, so we're all the other level five, so confident that they're going to regionals. Your mushroom, you finally got a spindle. In competition. Yeah, and then the that was practice awesome. the practice on Monday, which was the day after the meet, I do a full bonus, which is four circles, spindle circle, flare flare circle, half off. Like seriously, why couldn't I do that at the meet? It, it I felt happy, also felt kinda mad because like dang it, I could have scored a lot higher at the meet mm -hmm. if I did the full bonus, but and I did a practice, so I was still happy. So you gotta just keep practicing that to yeah. make sure it's good. Are we gonna see any other surprise bonuses on state? Uh, full pirouette on floor. I'm almost ninety percent. Handstand pirouette. Yeah. Okay. I know. Um, it's it's getting good. Like almost every time I try it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, possibly lever. On rings. I, yeah, I think lever on rings. Mm -hmm. And baby gyro on high bar. Okay. That would then be pretty much be all your bonuses, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's still muscle up on rings, which I'm super close mm -hmm. to do. But then, that, those are really all the bonuses. Mom, you trying to call. <laughs> That's all the bonuses. Those are the bonuses. Okay. Do you have any fear? What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is probably breaking my arm again. <laughs> or breaking any bone. But I want to break this here. I mean, it sucked to break your arm. It sucked as your dad to be there when you broke your arm. Yeah, I watched me break it. Well, watching you break it wasn't a big deal. It didn't look like you broke your no, arm. No, it didn't. <laughs> it was just... Every, every minute after that, the, yeah. the next two weeks as horrible. I remember when I came home from the ER, they didn't cast me yet. I had to wait three days in a sling. And those days felt like years. Really? You had to wait five days. Oh. You broke on Friday. We didn't get in until Wednesday. Yeah, those five days felt like five years. Yeah. I, I was in so much pain and dosed on so many meds. I just kind of slept the entire day. I didn't really care. I like... I had a bell that I rung, and then my dad or Robert come over and get me what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that is cool about breaking your arm is you get a bunch of people to sign your cast, and a lot of people get you gifts and money. <laughs> I think I'd still rather not break my arm. Yeah, I would not want to break a bone ever again. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Is there anything else you wanted to, to say? Nope. No? 
Well, thank you for your time, you're Mr. Sanchez. You're <laughs> Until next time, maybe there'll be another little monkey sitting, right? Maybe. Maybe not at Fred Meyer's, though. There. Yeah, maybe not Fred Meyer's. Maybe we'll go to a different coffee shop. Like, this guy bagels, maybe. Oh, that'd be a good one. Well, then yeah. I have to change from coffee time to, like, bagel, bagel time. time. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> okay, say goodbye, monkey. See you guys later.